So earlier this week, I went and saw the new Fast and Furious movie, and in that movie, there's a car that shoots tank cannons. And my immediate thought was, man, that would be sick to have in GTA Online. So I went and made a GTA version of it. Now, it's not a one-to-one -one replica. If it were to be as close as possible to the movie version, it would be the Picador that gets the weapons here. But we're using the Apocalypse Impaler because it looks close enough with the armor on it. It's kind of got similar armor with the protective bars around the car and everything. And the weapons are sort of in similar spots. And basically what we've done here is replace the machine guns with tank cannons. The weapons are now explosive instead of bullet. The explosion type is the same as the tanks have. And for the sound, we're using the Kanjali stock cannon sound. In terms of the fire rate, it's basically the same as the flat guns. You fire off two and then there's a short cooldown, which makes sense for this vehicle because it has two guns. My original plan with this was to use exactly the cannons from the flat gun with the projectiles and everything. However, as you can see here, it lets me fire where my camera is looking, which isn't what I wanted. I wanted it to be in a fixed position where it only fires at things in front of you. So I did it another way and gave the travel time to regular guns here by changing the speed value from 10,000 to 300, which makes it feel like you're shooting a tank cannon more than a bullet. There's some travel time to it. Then I increased the weapon range to 270, which would give it more range than the tank cannon actually. I changed the transfer effect to the railgun so it stands out a bit more than the other one. And that's probably the only downside of doing it this way instead of the traditional projectile. You don't get a more prominent trail effect with this, but at the same time, it kind of makes this unique in that sense. You probably also have noticed we're not using the giant tank reticle and instead we're going for the jet cannon reticle. It's just easier to see this way. The tank cannon takes up a lot of space on the screen. With the jump ability, you can do some pretty fun things with this by jumping and tilting the car downward to shoot a target. I could see this being really good for taking down armored vehicles in GT Line. It would be a good counter for them. And overall, just really fun to use. I know a lot of people's first reaction is going to be, Gilly, this would be OP as fuck in GT Online. So allow me to explain a few things. Let's say a vehicle like this were to be added. For one, it would not have unlimited ammo. No sir, 20 shots you would get with this max. That's it. It would not be unlimited because that would be ridiculously OP. And I think that would be balanced because it's also not the easiest thing to aim because they're fixed guns. So you'd be missing a good amount of your shots as well. And against players on foot, it's not a flying vehicle. It would only have a jump. So you'd be very vulnerable to being hit with the rail gun or just shot out of it. It would be armored a little bit. I would say Terrador armor on this vehicle would be suffice, but a scramjet would honestly be more deadly than this vehicle against other players on foot, if you ask me. This would really excel at just taking out armored vehicles like the Night Shark, the Insurgent, MOC, other tanks, which I feel is kind of a big gap in the vehicle balance. We don't really have many vehicles to deal with the really armored stuff on ground. The tanks can easily be outran and avoided. Flat guns, you need another person to use properly, so this would be a fun vehicle to have to fill that gap. But yeah, I was just inspired by the new Fast movie after seeing that vehicle in action that I want to create this concept in GTA. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments. Would you be down for a weaponized Picador like this in GTA Online? If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. I'll leave you guys with some gameplay here so you can kind of see it in action with all the sounds and everything. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.